Pokimane versus Ninja, two heavyweights of the streaming scene. They're going back to back and brand new leaked messages showing Ninja's team are threatening to sue Pokey over defamation. Hey guys, how's life and welcome back to my channel. Now before we do get into this video guys, if you could smash subscribe, it's absolutely free, no charge at all. I bring you constant content, all of the drama, any more leaked messages, anything we know, I'm going to be updating you guys so you're going to want to stick around for it. Drop a like on the video if you can as well, it's absolutely free. But enough waffle, let's get into it. This week has been like a war on the internet. The biggest influencers in the world are on Twitter, on their social medias, talking about this battle. It all started this week following Gideon's permanent ban from Twitch. This came about seemingly from nothing. Pokey had had a 48-hour ban from copyright infringement. When she made a return stream after her 48-hour ban, Gideon, for some reason, just seemed to be hating on her. He was just sharing his general distaste for Pokey. And in that moment, he obviously wasn't thinking clearly because he told his chat and his big audience to go over and spam in the comments L plus ratio. Now I know what you're thinking, this is very childish L plus ratio. No one's really getting hurt. This turns into something much more vile. It started with L plus ratio, but slowly Gideon's viewers started sort of abusing Pokey and not only Pokey, but viewers in Pokey's stream which is absolutely unacceptable. Twitch have a zero tolerance thing on bullying on the platform, as does any platform, to be honest with you. It's hard for content creators, as it is getting a constant abuse in the comments. But when someone else, when another big content creator is actually telling and encouraging his fans to do it, it's absolutely disgusting. Pokey then put a stream in followers only mode, thinking, oh, okay, well, at least only my fans can comment. But no, Gideon kept it up unrelentlessly saying, go follow Pokey, keep spamming it. I don't know what his real problem, if anyone in the comments actually fill me in, what is his problem with Pokey? Is it just jealousy? Is it, is it because she's a successful woman on the platform? Twitch then notices Pokey's one of the biggest streamers on the platform. They're not just going to try and brush over it. They gave him a 14 day ban of to start off with. After review, they then made it a permanent ban for Gideon, which in my opinion is absolutely correct. It wasn't at this point that Gideon stopped on Twitter. He changed his profile picture to a picture of Pokey without her makeup on. He's just continuing to harass. I'm not a viewer of Gideon, I have to be honest. Maybe this is just a type of his humour where he's just taking the mick out of her, but it did definitely go too far. The main issue for me was that he was sort of promoting the harassment and all the messages to Pokey, which it must be horrible. Like, constant notifications of abuse towards you. Like, this is completely unnecessary. Pokey was forced to end that stream, by the way, when Gideon bombarded her chat. A lot of content creators then went on to support Pokey sort of posting on Twitter. I saw Jack Septicai and a lot of big personalities were sort of like why are you abusing this woman she's built her platform she's worked so hard for it and there's no need for you to sort of make her life hell with all these messages i mean everyone's preaches about mental health and then suddenly because she's a content creator because she's a celebrity we just think that that's not right something bad could have happened there if she wasn't as strong as she is Gillian then posted an apology video on his second channel on twitter pokey seemed to sort of accept it or sort of say i'll try and move on from this we'll try and squash the beef now and you're thinking great it's all done it was a bit horrible it was a horrible moment for pokey Gillian was going to stream on YouTube and you'd hope the whole thing would die down. But no, another heavyweight of the streaming field, Ninja, was then asked about it on his stream. At that point, he was like, yeah, I'll get in touch with my representatives. I'll see if I can do something about his ban. Now, I know Ninja's probably going to be getting a lot of hate for what he said. I actually think this was sort of like a nonchalant thing that he said. He was like, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll try and text the representatives. It was just sort of like, a, oh, will you help? And he's probably thinking to himself, oh, yeah, I've watched, I've watched podcasts of Ninja. I know he's quite a nice guy. He can be toxic, especially in the games we've seen some horrible sides to him. I almost feel like that comment, he didn't actually mean. But Pokey was obviously upset. She probably thought, oh, it's all over with, like, the messages are starting to die down a bit. And Ninja bringing it back up probably reignited the hate. Pokey wanted to see for herself, so she brought the clips on stream to show her audience. Anyone can take a clip of anything online, and it will be out of context. You can get upset by it. And I don't blame Pokey for being upset by what he said at all. Why would Ninja want to defend or get on the side of Gideon after he's launched a war against Pokey of harassment and horrible messages. Pokey was sort of talking about that a lot. You could tell she was quite upset by it. It's probably been her a horrific week. They say things coming free. You're starting off with a copyright infringement. Then Gideon starts messaging. Then Ninja piles on top. This just shows how toxic the internet can be, doesn't it? I'm about to show you the leaked messages, so make sure you smash subscribe. Like I said, loads more content coming. Drop a like on the video. Let's get into this. So Ninja saw that Pokey had brought up the clips of Ninja on her stream, and they're going, oh god, this looks terrible out of context. 
if you're on their social media or PR team, Ninja's massive. He's done deals with the biggest companies. He's a multi, multi, multi millionaire, this guy. And he needs to keep his public image good. I'm aware that his partner is actually like a big part of his team. She originally messaged Pokey and was sort of like, she needs to stop showing these clips. Otherwise, we're going to be suing for defamation. Now, I'm no lawyer, but I don't know how showing clips of something that you've said is defamation. Defamation law is sort of there to make sure that people don't sort of spread misinformation, spread fake news. I mean, it happens all the time. You saw the president of the United States, Joe. Joe Rogan's been done for it. It's like bringing someone's name and character down for something that's not true. But if it's a clip of yourself, if it's a clip of something you've said, how is it def defamation? Unless to try to argue that the things that Pokey was saying along with the clip was defamation. I don't think they've got a leg to stand on to be honest with you. Ninja then DM Pokey himself and then reads like this. Hey, so I just want you to know, I swear on my granddad's life who has just passed away that I didn't text my Twitch rep and you were making a big mistake. Now, do you want anything more passive aggressive, Ninja? You said on stream that you're gonna text your Twitch rep to see if you could undo Jillian's ban. So the fact that Pokey's seen you say that is obviously gonna make her upset and assume that you would text your Twitch rep. If people had phone calls or spoke to each other, it'd be a lot more easier. But when people tweet and DM, you should sort of misread and pick up signals, but this is unnecessarily passive aggressive. Reading that, you'd go, okay, he hasn't texted it, thank you. But then he says, you are making a big mistake. Why are these YouTubers so dramatic? Why do they keep bringing up war and lawsuits? Why couldn't he just say, like, I apologize for saying that obviously Gillian was in the wrong. It's almost like an ego thing with these big personalities, isn't it? And then the last leaked message has come out from Jessica Blevins, who is Ninja's wife. It reads like this, we're considering everything, defamation of character at this point, and you are getting our legal team involved. You're spewing lies to tens of thousands of people. You know Twitch, you claim you know his rep, then you know that Tyler never reached out to anyone, and again, just said that to stop the harassment in his chat from Gideon's viewers. The clips that Pokey played on her stream aren't fake. Ninja said that. You can regret saying something. You can take it back and apologize. Well, why do we have to go straight to defamation? I have to feel sorry for Pokey at this point. Anyway, Karen, we have clarified everything to you. You are actively bringing harassment to Tyler and I right now at the highest level, and we're taking this very seriously. Overall, it's an incredibly toxic and negative place to be on Twitch right now. It shows how quickly and how much control a content creator has over their audience. Obviously, Pokey and Ninja, Gideon, massive content creators. They told their audience to jump over a bridge. It's sort of that thing that fans are so loyal, which I admire. I again have favorite streamers. I again have favorite content creators. Shout out Tim the Tap Man, True Geordie. And when sort of they bring out merch, you wanna you wanna support them when they say something you want to support them. The content creator needs to take responsibility if they're inciting hate on the platform, which is against Twitch terms of service, which is why Gillian got banned. I don't know, I just feel a little bit sorry for Pokey, but Maybe maybe I've misread the situation a little bit. Obviously, make sure to let your opinions known in the comments down below. I'll be reading them. Or if I have missed anything in the story where Pokey's perhaps in the wrong, then let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I'll bring in loads and loads of content to you on this channel. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, no charge at all. Drop a like as well, come on. It really shows that you're supporting the channel, supporting, supporting the video and you've enjoyed the content. All right, I'll see you next time. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. It's absolutely free, no charge at all. Drop a like as well, come on. It really shows that you're supporting the channel, supporting, supporting the video and you've enjoyed the content. All right, I'll see you next time.